die. Welcome to the 2007 NFL Draft. This year's draft features a solid group of game-breaking wide receivers and some very good offensive and defensive line prospects. Isaac Clancy, the three-time All-American out of Wisconsin, is the best player in the draft, with Kareem Ware and Manny Hall following in a close second and third. Here we are. We're in a draft. Washington is on the clock first. We got to draft a quarterback, a halfback, and a defensive end. Let's go ahead and skip to our next pick. Okay. Let's see what he has to say. Yes. Defensive tackle, Isaac Clancy. Uh... The Raiders have announced their selection. Tampa Bay is up next. Well, I have Isaac Clancy listed as my best player in this draft, and here's why. He's listed at 6'5", 375 pounds, but he even looks bigger than that. This kid is very strong and very smart. He absolutely dominated at the college level. He was a four-year starter from Wisconsin and a three-time All-American at defensive tackle. He is bigger than just about everyone he goes up against, and he always presents a mismatch with his strength. Clancy will be an immediate contributor to this team, and he should grow into one of the most dominating players in the league. It's nice to know. Okay, so we need to draft a quarterback, so we're not going to ask him because he's going to get somebody stupid. Let's see if we got any quarterbacks left here. Quarterbacks. Here we go. Atkins, Little, Sean. So we scouted pretty much everybody here. But I think we're going to go with uh, Sam Atkins. Oakland has finished making their selection. The Buccaneers select next. It's like night and day how much better this kid got from last year to this year. And I like this pick here in round two. He's a very disciplined player who should come in and make an immediate impact in Oakland. All right, there we go. Picking out some pretty good, decent players here so far. Now we still need to get a halfback, is it? At a defensive end. Let's see what he has to say. I bet you Yeah, I that. got a second. That's not going to happen, man. Yeah, I don't think so, buddy. Halfback. So who do we have left here? Oh, crap. We're not going to be able to get a halfback. We don't. We waited too long to get a halfback. Okay, that's not going to happen. Okay. So we need a defensive end. Is that what this thing is? Okay. We don't have a defensive end either, really? Oh my gosh. And Chief? Yeah. Why don't I talk to somebody else? What a douchebag. Okay, we don't need that. Let's see who we got here. Tight end, maybe? Can we get a tight end? I mean, I, I really don't know who to get now. We can't really get much. Let's go with Aaron Kaufman. He was pretty good. From the last Raiders time. have selected their man, and here he is. The Buccaneers are up next. They can really use a player like this at the position, but this might be a little early to take him in round three. I talked to the coaches, and they had him really high on their board, so he may end up being a good fit for this franchise in Oakland. All right. So there we have it. That ends that first day of the draft. There's the second day of the draft, and like I said, we pretty much were busted because we can't get that halfback that, uh, that's needed or get the defensive end because they're all taken. Let's go ahead and send to our pick. That's so doofus boy over here. Yeah. Defensive tackle. I'm thinking no. You are worthless, dude. I swear. Oh, 
Oh, yes, I guess we do got halfbacks. All right, good. Okay, so we do got halfbacks. Uh, let's see who we want here. Ben Carter? I scouted the higher uh, halfbacks when I was scouting. So, let's see. Uh, let's go with Tawan uh, Stoudemire. Oakland has finished making their selection. Tampa Bay has the next selection. This is an interesting player to be picked here in round four. This guy is an up-and-coming prospect that possesses the physical tools to be a very productive player. However, the overall consensus on him is that he's still a project in the works. This is basically a boomer bust type prospect selected here by Oakland. Okay, so we kind of made a daring pick there. Now we need, do we need a defensive end? That's what we need, don't we? Defensive end. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. There's no players for defensive end, so it looks like we're not going to be able to get our defensive end, but we did get our halfback, though, so I'm kind of happy about that. What is it now, sir? There's another suggestion you'll ignore. Yes, I am ignoring That's it. That's not going to work. defensive tackle, you doofus piece of garbage. Okay, so what do we pick? Uh... Wow, we don't have many here. I guess I'm going to have to go with this pick because we really don't have much to pick. I see Clancy's already been drafted. Okay. Uh, oh, that's my draft. Okay. Oh, there we go. Free safety, maybe? No, we don't need a free safety. What all do we need here? Let's try to get somebody we can use. We got Isaac Clancy. We got Matthew Phillips. Looks be better. Speed looks be pretty good for Matthew Phillips. I guess we we'll go with an outside linebacker. Can we do that? Yeah, we can. Chauncey Young. Oakland has revealed their latest pick. The Buccaneers are up next. This kid didn't even start for his college team last year, so it may be surprising to see him go with this selection in round five. But he's better than a lot of people give him credit for. I think that once he gets a little experience in camp, he'll turn out to be a good player in Oakland. All right, thanks. Appreciate that. Let's see. Who, let's go with this dude. First. What now, Chief? Not that you'll do it. But let's go out. Let's go with Monday Nelson. Sure. Oakland has finished making their selection. Baltimore is now on the clock. We've seen that this kid can compete at the college level. The question will be if this kid can mature enough to be a good player in the NFL and be worth this pick in round six. Overall, this is not a bad pick by Oakland. Okay, so let's see what this dupus has to say. Make it quick, coach. Right outside linebacker Aaron Andrews, sure, make Oakland the call. Oakland has made their pick. The Buccaneers are up next. This kid's college coach said he's one of the best players he's ever coached, and I'm kind of surprised he lasted this long, but here he goes in round six. There is talk that this kid might not fit the system that they run here, but he's very coachable and will be a solid addition in Oakland. Okay, so we got one more. Make it short. And he wants to go defensive tackle Chris Urban. Oakland has finished making their selection. The Buccaneers select next. It's like night and day how much better this kid got from last year to this year, and I like this pick here in round seven. He's a very disciplined player who should come in and make an immediate impact in Oakland. Nice. Okay, good, 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 good. Assumed our next pick, which I think that's going to be the end of the draft. It is. That is the end of the draft. Like I said, we really got busted out there because we couldn't get our halfback, or not our halfback, but our uh, defensive end like we wanted to. So we go with the management meeting, meet up with our owner. Let's end this today. Marquise Bradley, we picked up some good players this year. But I'm disappointed that you did not fill all the positions we uh, didn't. What is that? We in 
identified in the draft. Yeah, well, you know, I couldn't do that. It will not happen again. Just a reminder, we need to sign all the draft picks to start the preseason. All right. You have time to talk. We still have one position to be filled in our roster during the unrestricted free agents. Thanks for Fine. the update. You got one more thing to say? Let's have a quick wrap. Where's my star wide receiver you were supposed to draft? Uh, you know what? I know I let you, the team down. I will take full responsibility not to get yep. this, to getting this done. See, we had to get a star receiver. You're supposed to draft a star receiver. Really? Really? Still got two middle linebackers to do. All right, done and dusted. Another episode of NFL Head Coach of the Raid is coming at or is over and done. So we didn't do what we had to do. We had to draft, but we did what we, you know, what was necessary, what we, what we had to work with. But uh, with that being said, appreciate everybody watching. This has been the Wolfman Lewis. Until next time, ow, ah, am out.